gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right Glad you're here too! <laughs> the other day, I visited the library and saw that it was under construction. That means they're building something new or fixing something that was broken. So I decided Callie's room should be under construction too! Yep! I even gave Joe a little hard hat. See? <laughs> I think he likes it. First, I built a little play area in my room for my little bro. Then, I built a reading clubhouse for myself out of a big cardboard box. Then I realized that I forgot to build something. I built something for someone else. I built something for myself. And now, I need to build something for God. And I know just the thing. Hmm. I wonder what all this construction is like for Joe. I wonder if he wonders what's going on. Hmm. I decided that I would build a little stool where I can sit and pray and spend time with God. Joe probably wonders who this is for and why I'm building it. Hmm, maybe our Bible story will help Joe figure it out. Today's Bible story comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 5. King Solomon was working on building something special for God. Solomon's dad wanted to build a place to worship God, but God said Solomon would, and Solomon did. It took a very long time to build, and it would now be a beautiful place for God's people to worship God. Solomon had many treasures brought into the temple, including the Ark of God. The Ark of God was very special to the Israelites and to God. Inside the Ark were special items that meant a lot to God's people. It helped them remember that God was with the Israelites. The priests put the Ark of God in a special room of the temple called the Most Holy Place. It was a very festive day when they brought the Ark into the temple. The musicians played music, they played instruments like cymbals, harps, lyres, and trumpets. They sang songs, they praised and thanked God, and they sang praises like God is good, God's love lasts forever. God was very happy and filled the temple with a thick cloud. That meant God was with them and was pleased with the new house of worship. But even this incredible new temple could not compare to how amazing God is. When God's people thought about how God had been with them throughout the years, they knew God was worthy of worship. That meant it's right that we give God our worship, through music, singing praise, and more. There were so many ways we can worship, and it's all about thanking God for who He is. God is so great and loves us. God is worthy of our worship. You see, Joe? God had done so much for King Solomon. Building God a temple was just one way that Solomon could give something back to God. Same reason for me building my little prayer stool. Building it and talking to God every day are ways that I can give back to God. It's just for God. My mom helped me make the stool, but I did all the decorating by myself. Look at the stickers. Which one do you think I should add next? This one? This one? Or, or, or this one? You're right, all of them. God has done so much for all of us. God gave us Jesus, so at the very least, we can say, thank you, God. What can you build for God today? When you do something for God, that's called worship. And whatever you make, remember, God is worthy of our worship. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Peace out.